Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans represent an extremism that threatens the very foundations of our republic. The Republican Party today is dominated, driven, and intimidated by Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans. And that is a threat to this country. It's about time President Joe Biden decided to get tough. It's about time his advisors stopped being weak and stopped being impotent and not fighting back. And I'd be damned if I'm going to leave a country for them run by these crazed, deranged folks who want to impart evil in every facet of our society. What the f***? I am really feeling that meme right now about not wanting to be right. It's been pretty obvious to me and many others for a while now that the Democrats and their media quite literally want to outlaw their political opponents. I've talked before about how the left and the media want to criminalize their political opposition. And this is just another example of that. They want a civil war because it would give them a chance to get rid of their political opposition once and for all. Trump, for all of his faults, got it right on the money when he called the media enemy of the people. Instead of protecting protecting Americans and holding those in power to account, the media has instead chose to protect their party's power and essentially do the bidding of our greatest foreign adversaries by destroying the country from within. China and Russia couldn't hope for a better ally than Democrats and their media. If you actually want to destroy America and incite a civil war, do what Roland Martin says. Trust me, you're going to want to see this clip, but first give me just 30 seconds to tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. Noble Gold CEO Colin Plume thinks that quantitative tightening is setting up the stage for a gold rally. In his interview with the National Desk, Plume said the tightening is pushing the dollar up. However, he predicts that by next year, the Fed will print money again to restart economic activities. If you're thinking of gold and silver right now, Noble Gold is giving away a free gold American Eagle coin with every eligible IRA or 401k in September. You can't go wrong with Noble Gold. Call the team now at 877-646-5347 to find out more or visit noblegoldinvestments.com. You can also use the link in the description or pinned comment. Make sure to tell them Drone Tech sent you. His followers, Republican, mainstream establishment Republicans, are echoing these calls for violence, all but threatening it. See, it doesn't matter at this point if Biden's trying to walk it back. The media's enemies are mainstream Republicans, conservatives, and anyone who criticizes them or stands in the way of their ideological agenda. What threats of violence is she even talking about? Lindsey Graham was just stating the obvious. If you imprison the greatest political opponent to the ruling party before an election based on a two-tiered system of justice that gets flaunted in our face constantly, you're gonna have blowback. And if we're gonna agree that that is a threat of violence, fine then, okay. But then let's hold Democrats and their media to the same standard, all of whom are well-documented making similar or way more overt statements over the last few years. Tiffany Cross herself has used way harder rhetoric in the past, but we know that they're never held to the same standard, which is exactly why we're at this impasse. Even recently, they refused to condemn protests outside the homes of Supreme Court justices, which is already illegal for obvious reasons. But even after one of those protesters attempted to assassinate Judge Kavanaugh, they still wouldn't condemn him. Well, first of all, uh, I have my uh, red LED lighting since the Republicans <laughs> are so, oh my God, upset because uh, President Joe Biden, uh, they claim, oh, he looked like uh, he was in Russia. Russia? More like Snoke's throne room from The Last Jedi. Pastor Charles Jenkins has uh, an intro to his song War, uh, where he says, when the enemy is coming at you, you can't fall down, you can't break down. This means war. That is where we are. We are at war with these people. These folks are evil. They have allowed evil into their house with Donald Trump. He has now dominated the party. This evil is spreading. And when you are in a war footing, you have to respond accordingly. I'm your huckleberry. He just called for violence. How is that not a call for violence? Just 
take a moment to realize what's being said on this national cable news network. They're labeling half the country an imminent threat. They're calling for war and for people to respond accordingly. Remember that Democrat who opened fire on Republican senators, wounding several while screaming, this is for health care? That guy was radicalized by the constant drumbeat from Democrats and their media that Republicans wanted everybody to die because of their opposition to Obamacare. The FBI went as far as to try and cover that up as suicide by cop, only admitting years later and very quietly that it was actually domestic terrorism. Now just use your imagination to think about all the crazies this kind of rhetoric is going to incite. Just think about all the BLM and Antifa types who are licking their chops right now as the president and his state media junta give them all the justification they're gonna need to carry out violence. It won't just be against politicians either, oh no. MSNBC has that covered too, where only a month ago they said that your white Republican neighbors wants to kill you. It's about time President Joe Biden decided to get tough. It's about time his advisors stopped being weak and stopped being impotent and not fighting back. What these people want to do to this country is destroy democracy. They want to rig elections. Wait, 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 wait. Rigged elections? That sounds like democracy destroying election denial. That shows you just how dangerous these people are. They are quite literally incapable of seeing themselves. Something in their brains is broken and just keeps repeating the phrase, it's different when we do it. This is an authoritarian takeover being cheered on by the people who are supposed to be the first defense against tyrannical government. Instead, they're an integral part of it. Republicans and conservatives, they are weak. All they do is whine and complain, oh my God, he called us semi-fascists. They have called Democrats uh, Marxists. They have called them communists. They have called them socialists. I know I'm doing this speech for a little later, but today we really proved that socialism wins. This is about the future of our children. I've got 13 nieces and nephews, and I'd be damned if I'm going to leave a country for them run by these crazed, deranged folks who want to import evil in every facet of our society. Now, a projection is an unconscious mechanism, so I don't know I've done it. And, and a projection occurs because something has been triggered in, in my psyche, in my psychological history. And it's activated here, it leaves me and goes out onto the other person or onto the institution or onto some collective organization. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great way to prove you're not communist nut jobs. One of America's two major political parties being declared a terrorist threat to the country by the fourth estate. No, no, there's nothing ominous or nakedly authoritarian about that at all. We've been calling them exactly what they openly are. And you can tell that this is payback for that. This guy is just clearly seething with hatred and animosity and is prepared to back an authoritarian takeover and the use of government violence against people that he declares like a cult leader are evil. The bad news here is that there are just way too many people like Roland Martin out there, apparently under the same spell. If you've ever wondered how that Nazi thing happened and people just went along with it, well, you're living through another demonstration of it now. That's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share this video, subscribe, and make sure to leave a comment to let us know what you think about this insane person. Not me, Roland Martin. Thanks a lot.